Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another Alliance War video. So if you've seen the day one claiming of Morbius video, you probably saw one fight from this Alliance War already. Um, but if not, you're in for a treat. And it, even if you have already seen it, you're going to see uh, another Morbius fight in this war. Uh, so this was the, this war, it was, as you see, there's only 19 hours left on it. So, you know, we're in the, the, the second phase. It's almost over. However, I hadn't joined yet. And I already had my assignments like a day prior, uh, planning. I just kind of forgot about joining war, to be honest. I was just busy doing other things. And I was, my team was supposed to be Hulkling, uh, White Magneto, and Void. But then, we, you know, we're talking in uh, in our battle group chat about... We're talking about Mantis versus Morbius and like which one has an easier ramp. And I was saying that Morbius' ramp... I'm, like, I'm, I'm saying basically they're both super easy, you know. You know, Morbius, all you gotta do is glide to punish a special attack, and that's your ramp. Like, that, that's it. Like, it, it, it's a breeze. I, I honestly think Morbius' ramp's a little bit easier. Um, because, like, when I'm playing Morbius, like, I'm, I'm not even really thinking about it. When I'm playing Mantis, like, I, I'm definitely thinking about it. Also, I'm a bit of a Mantis hater. I think that's gonna change soon, once I finally rank her up, but... Uh, I don't know. Man, I don't love Mantis. But, uh, jumping in here... Yeah, so, they, they basically said, alright, then you should just bring Morbius to Alliance War, you know? I, I, I was really hyping him up saying how how easy his ramp is and i was like okay like i only had two fights with void and i was like yeah okay morbius should be able to, to handle these and then uh hulkland's gonna be handling the rest of the fights so up first here we have a shocker who not at all worried about here's getting some regen doesn't matter totally do not care uh, i'm just worried right now about his specials so push him to a special one here boom debate that but this looks like a max sig shocker, so he has another special one ready. So it's gonna go ahead and bait that. Boom, all right, done. Now we can just start going to town. And I don't fully understand how shocker works here. I get auto blocked. Um, but yeah, my, un my unblockable just ended on like the last hit there and he auto blocks me. So that was interesting, but then a couple block hits, he's dead. Now we get into the this fight, dude, so this fight man we got all kinds of stuff going on here masochism over time and vigorous assault those nodes paired together here got crazy so this is sugar pill and decay so i have been spoiled spoiled by titania as you guys have seen last couple wars we've been bringing her i think i'm going to upload this one even though this was prior to the titania wars I'm gonna upload this one in between the Titania Wars. Just give you guys a bit of a break from Titania, and because I wanna, I wanna, I wanna just wait a bit and then show you the, my biggest and best and the baddest Titania War. But basically, I've been spoiled by her because she is just fully buff immune, and she, I, I've not seen the unstoppable passive a single time using Titania. Here with Morbius, the fight just started. This dude's going unstoppable. I'm like. <laughs> What? Whoa, what, what? What's going on here? So I need to knock him down so that I can apply a slow debuff. But that slow debuff only lasts for 10 seconds. Um, and here he's just unblockable. He keeps breaking my block. Here we gotta deal with special 2. I evade that. Here I go to glide, punish, special 2. Guess what? He's unstoppable. So I hit his block. Here I'm trying to parry. I'm getting my block broken by a more unblockable. Uh, I'm starting to freak out, dude. I'm getting kind of scared. I'm going for another heavy, get that slow. Here, I'm going to throw my special one to, again, just refresh the slow. Uh, get some debuffs built up here. Like, I'm freaking out. And Longshot just keeps nullifying all my buffs. Uh, he's nullifying my fervor. He's nullifying my dex. And that's not good because he's he's gaining power. Like, this is this is not going well. I, I'm, I'm getting scared. But, you know, I feel like we finally got it into a decent spot here. Uh, I just want to drop one special two. Like, one special two should just end this. I just need to get off one good special two with 10 debuffs, 10 bleed debuffs, and we'll be good. Here, I take another combo. Here, I I don't even know what happened there. I tried to glide and then throw my special. Didn't work. Again, another special two blocked. Here, he's going passively unstoppable again. This is my very first fight using Morbius in war, and this is how it's going. I'm just like, dude. I, I have not died in war in a long time. I didn't die at all the last season. I haven't died at all this season. I, I've, I've been calling myself immortal. I'm like, I, I can't even die in war anymore. And here, reality was actually starting to set in. Right here, it really set in. He just crit four out of five hits. A long shot just crit four out of five hits. And I'm like, all right, that's enough. We got to go for it. We got to go for it. So here, I push him red, and I just go for it. 
And luckily that works. Dude, oh my god. That was that was bad. That was so sketchy. I Yeah, <laughs> I didn't say that was sketchy. Dude, that was so sketchy. Oh my god. Like, how, how sad would that have been? I'm so hyped about Morbius. First war, I bring him and I die first fight. Like, <laughs> that's the only thing going on through my mind. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm telling people Morbius is good. I cannot die with him the very first fight in war. Thank God we clutched it out and that, that little final gambit at the end worked. Um, but yeah, a little bit of a sketchy start for Morbius' debut in Alliance War. Honestly, I think a lot of that was my own fault again. Like, I just, I, I was not used to the Unstoppable. Like, I, I was so spoiled by Titania, I never saw the Unstoppable pass up a single time. And I never once, like, was playing around it. Like, I was just playing, I was just smashing with Titania. That's just what she does, bro. She just smashes and smashes. Like, but with Morbius, like, I actually had to be paying attention and managing that. Um, but yeah, I, yeah. So, th th that was the first fight. Uh, I think Void definitely probably would have been better there. But for the next fight, Kindred, uh, Morbius redeemed himself. So here we're fighting Kate Bishop, who I do not like to fight. I, I actually hate fighting her, but we have a way Magneto Guidance, so you know, that takes away the, the, the parry uh, downside. You know, when you parry, you can't punish her. So that helps here, and plus Hulkling is just a Giga Chad, and cuts right through her so that fight was, was fine but at this point i was like okay i gotta go talk to these guys online i gotta go talk to my officers manual and andrew they're watching right now but i'm like I, I need to take a break because i almost died with morbius like maybe i'm just doing something wrong here like let me let me let me take a breather talk to them and then we'll jump back in so i did that uh they basically said like long shot was just kind of crazy there um it's all good you know this next fight sh shouldn't be a problem so I'm going to go ahead and throw on a 150% science boost and also a invulnerability boost just because, you know, I I, I, I got hit a lot against Longshot. I don't want to get hit a bunch here. I was reading the node um, and because with Longshot, like he was constantly unblockable. That, that was really annoying. Like I tried to parry him like more than like two separate occasions and he just broke my block because he's unblockable. I was just being dumb. Um, so reading this node, this has another unblockable node, but it, it has to be like 10 vigor charges and then he goes unblockable. So I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. But again, start of this fight, boom, instant unstoppable. I'm like, dude, this is so stupid. So here he's stun immune, got a beta heavy, counter the heavy. All right, boom, he's slowed now. All right, uh, he has like some unblockable charges built, but it's only at three. And I think he needed to get to like 10 to be unblockable or something. But here, boom, he just jumps up. Now he's unblockable already. His charge is just... I don't know where they all came from. But yeah, now he's just unblockable. And I'm like, dude, what the what the heck? Um, and I thought this was a big problem. I have the damage on me. But I was like, wait, it's fine. You know, I'm decay. Uh, I'm decay, so I'm, I'm not taking damage. As long as I have my, those withered debuffs active, we're good. So here, he's not sending me. I can parry. All right. Uh, here, my fervor is a passive, so I can just still glide. So I drop a big special to 120k, and look at my power. I shoot right back up to two bars. Boom, I'm going to glide. Throw another special two. There, we just got a lucky crit, 56k. Here, I get rooted. But again, gives me enough power for another special two. Boom, get another lucky crit, 35k. Kindred dead, full yellow bar. I was like, damn. Like, that fight did not start off very good, but... It, it ended extremely well. Full yellow bar for the finish. And I was like, okay, that that was that was good. That was uh, that was redemption. You know that that makes up for the long shot. We didn't die. It's all good. It's all good. So first war with Morbius is a success. I just have one more final fight here. Future Ant Man. You know, I wasn't worried. I'm bringing Hulkling, the best counter to Future Ant Man. Um, yeah, not really worried at all. I had one more guidance. Threw it on here. So it's incin hazard shift, incinerate, and shock. So during the incinerate phase, I just need to be need to be careful, play a little safe. I still have 46 seconds on that invulnerability boost, but again, that was for the Kindred fight. Like if I was just taking this fight separately, you know, I wouldn't have an invulnerability boost here. So boom, we're in the incinerate phase. We're just chilling, doing some blocked hits, just chilling, parrying to build bulwark and power, and boom. All right, now we're into that shock phase. So now I can start going to town, break his block, get off some big attacks, uh, and with Hulkling here, you know, my charges. Every time the shock is trying to apply to me, I think I'm gaining shape-shifting charges. So, 
uh, we're able to, you know, be very free to combo however I want here. Look at this, dude. Let, 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 let's let's pause here and rewind a bit. So you can see his special two on each hit is dealing 19,000 damage in red. Now, all of his hits would have done that much damage if I didn't have the invulnerability boost here. But again, let's, let's, let's rewind a little bit. You'll see because of that invulnerability boost, like this timing was just terrible. And I, I was aware of it. I was looking at that timer on me. I'm like, oh no, I need to evade the special too. And I just got it in my head and I messed it up. Normally I can evade this no problem. It's usually not even the first hit that I struggle with. It's like the second two. Um, but yeah, I was just nervous. I messed it up. Uh, but thank God for that ind indestructible boost. If that was not active, I, I think I would have died. Uh, so shout out to invulnerability boost. And then shout out to Hulkling's regen. Look at my he look at my regen. Look at that regen. Look at that regen. Full yellow bar. Bye bye future ant man. Like, coming out of this fight, if someone was watching me, like my alliance mates, they see me coming out of that fight with full health, they assume I smashed that fight. They have no idea. I almost died. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, that's Hulkling. Giga Chad, shout out to him. I, I, maybe I really am immortal. Maybe I really am immortal. I was really, really testing the waters this time, but we didn't die. So, first war with Morbius was a success. Not a great success, but it was a success nonetheless. And uh, we actually ended up winning this war as well, which I did not think we were going to because we had like nine deaths when they had like three. But then they just started dying a bunch. So somehow we ended up winning. Um, that's going to go ahead and do it for this war video. It's Morbin time in Alliance War. Let me know if you guys have brought your Morbius to war. Uh, let me know who you fought, if you had success. What do you think of him with the decay attacker tactic? I'd love to hear. I love him. I'm probably going to be getting him assigned some more which I'll definitely, you know, have a better idea of how to play him. Like I said, that was the very first day I got Morbius, jumped in war with him, and that's what happened. So now that I've played him a lot more, I understand him some more. I understand how he works with the Decay tactic more. I understand about the Passive Unstoppable. I think we'll only have more success in the future with him. That's going to do it for his Alliance War debut. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Drop a like if so. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Peace out. Keep Morbin.